Welcome back guys, hope you are doing great. So as you requested for chat application for a very quite long time. So I finally finished that project and I'm going to demonstrate it. Well, this project is completely built by using the Expo CLI and by using the Firebase as you requested. Well, let me show you the UI. We having this login screen over here and we I can we can able to see that also we have the create here option also. If you don't have an account yet, all you have to do is to click create here so that will take the user to create uh, a new account with for our chat application so if i click this option so that will bring the available avatar so you can able to choose the avatar which i listed below over here so let's say if i choose this and if i want to type uh, give a new name over here so let's say lisa williams or something and let me type the email so basically we are validating the email by using the specific pattern so that we need to satisfy that email pattern otherwise this will be highlighted the user can't create a new email account in our uh, firebase storage so we are using the email and password authentication provided by the firebase and you can able to see here we are having the califier store collections also whenever the new user is registered that will be saved in the users collection so that we can able to keep track the user information, right? So let me create a new user over here. And if I want to create a password, so let's say Lisa at 123 or something. So let me, I can click here to see the password, whether I write it perfectly or not, or if I want to change the password or anything, and I can switch back the password uh, to, this, uh, to hide that password view, right? So if I click this sign up, so this will register this user in the Firebase and you can able to see that new user should create it over here somewhere where it is. Here it is. The new user is registered. And then once the user is registered successfully, he will be authenticated to the home screen directly because the user is registered. So he will be directly authenticated to the home screen and we are using the redux to store this user information so that i can able to access this user information throughout anywhere inside any child components and once he uh, registered and he not, uh, navigated to the home screen he can able to see all the uh, what is that that chat rooms which is already available over there so now you can see we having the chat rooms which is already been created so let's say i'm going to create a new chat room so lisa chat room or something so once I hit this option, so that chat room will be created over here. So you can able to see that chat room. So if here you can see the Lisa chat room is created and you can see that the chat room, which is we created and it's initially pushed up in the top of the list. So let me bring one more simulator over here, which I already have. So let me refresh it. All right. So we can able to see that I do have a uh, logged in over here as a different user. You can see where I logged in as a different user and over here I logged in as a different user. So let me uh, navigate into the Deezer chat room over here also. So let's say, hi buddy. So you can see here when I bring the official keyboard of that uh, simulator, you can see the entire UI it's been popped up so that you can able to see that complete keyboard settings every time whenever you are opening the keyboard, just like normally what we have in the chat application. Now if I tap this, so you can able to see that it's showing hi buddy and the time which we sent that message and here you can see who sent that message and what is the message and which time he received that message. So now if I send any message as a reply, let's say hello there. So if I tap this and now we can able to see that message is instantly appeared over there. So we have the live relay of the chat whatever we having over here. And if I navigate to the profile screen and there you can able to see all the options related to that profile and basically this media shared option is just a dummy images we are not having the media sharing options yet in this application maybe in the future we can upgrade it uh, the live media shares and also all right so this is the chat application that we are going to build using the expo CLI and the firebase so let me know your opinion in the comment sections and what exactly you're feeling about this project and what is the feature that you want to add in this project in the next sessions or if i want to log out once i click that log out the user will be successfully pushed to the sign in screen and then again he needs to log in even if i'm refreshing let me reload it so even if i'm closing and opening open that application that will not take the user again to the chat screen he need to log in because that user is not authenticated to log open that so he need to log in again then only he can able to move in 
So I logged out from the user from there and let me refresh this screen so you can able to see this simulator is active because that particular user is active in that particular application. So he will be navigated to that um, home screen because we are using the live session management and everything from the Firebase which is provided along with that authentications also. All right, so I hope you excited about this project. So let me know your opinion in the comment section what exactly you're feeling about this project.